Okay, we're talking about adjustment layers now. What are adjustment layers? Well, it's basically kind of like a window or glasses or something. And you have like a filter or something over those glasses and anything below that adjustment layer will be affected by whatever's on that adjustment layer. So let's add a new one. So we have this footage on my timeline. It's just me for setting up my ProBlends video from the other day. You can go to layer, new, adjustment layer, and hey, we got this layer and with this little button selected, it will set it as an adjustment layer. So if we just hold there, adjustment layers. Effects applied to this layer apply to the composite of the layers below it. So let's add a Lumetri color. And then it's a little flat right now, so let's just add an S curve in there. Maybe add a bit of saturation. And then, wow, that actually looks really, really warm and green. So let's, uh, wrong way. Yeah, so. All this effect is doing is basically anything below it is gonna get that sort of look now. Now what's cool about adjustment layers is I can make masks on them. So let's say I wanted to just, just affect this portion. Now we have a pretty harsh edge there so we can go to that mask, hit F on our keyboard and feather it. Right? Okay, cool. So that's the basics of adjustment layers. Now what else can we do with that? Well, an adjustment layer is basically anything that has data, RGB channels, not in alpha, that will uh, affect it below it. So let's hit control Y on our keyboard and make a solid layer. And a solid layer is kind of like just putting a black piece of footage over here. And if we, let's say, just set the adjustment layer button right there, now it's going to take whatever's on this layer and make it an adjustment layer. So let's just say glow now, because I like glows. Glows are fun. Ooh, there's a glow bring down the threshold, that looks gross, but you get the idea. Bring down the intensity, bring up the threshold. Kind of gives me that sort of uh, Pulp Fiction when they're opening that mysterious case sort of vibe. And we can hit Q on our keyboard to select our ellipse tool and then just make a mask around that and then feather that out if we wanted to. That, that's kind of cool. So you, you can do that. Now, my favorite way to use adjustment layers is with shape layers, actually. So let's make a shape. We'll hold shift on our keyboard and hit Q a couple times to cycle through our shape tool. Let's make a rectangle. And uh, let's go over that logo right there. We'll get rid of the stroke, set that to zero, alt click on the fill color, and now we have this shape. And now I'm gonna set this rectangle to maybe like, um, I don't know, move from left to right. So make a keyframe there. Let's go to frame zero and then let's say frame three or second three and just move that over like that. So now we have this cool little animation of this shape going across the frame. Now, it's not really doing much unless we set it to an adjustment layer and then let's add a transform effect to this. Trans Transform, distort, transform, bam. And if you bring the scale up, now it's gonna do this cool funky thing. Cool. And what's cool about this technique is you can have these animations happening on your shape layer. So we can just like move this guy around and futz around and maybe add like a tint or a tritone because I wanna make it like blue or something. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Say blue, that's pink, there's blue. And then I could change the skew of it if we wanted to. Uh... So you can basically animate your adjustment layers with shape layers by just setting your shape layer to an adjustment layer. So nothing too fancy and fun here, but the concept is there. I use this all the time for glitch effects. And if you take a look at some of the other videos on my channel, I will link to them in the bio of this video. You'll see how you can add some glitch effects as well. But I hope you learned something from this one. This is an effect I use all the time and I'm pretty sure you will as well. 
All right, that's today's quick tip. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Like if you learned something, and if you need more help, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Again, my name is John Jacksony. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my face because you're not getting it back, so I hope it was worth it. And I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You will make some gains, I promise. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Where's my lens cap? Bye. Put the place up.